Welcome to Testing Advices. In this video tutorial, we will learn execution of multiple feature files. So, in order to do that, first we need to have two tags in our main runner. So, let me copy the one tag okay, and separate the two tags with comma. Okay. Now left click on the main runner and execute the test case <clears throat> okay so we got some turn issue what is that? So we got a web driver exception. Okay. That no such element session ID is null using web driver after calling quit. Okay. So as you as you have seen, the browser is launched only one time, but the second test case for the valid login does not executed because the browser was not launched so there is some issue with this web driver quit so how can we debug this so what we need to do we need to put a debug point so double click okay to put a debug point and there is a issue with the browser launch so we'll put a debug point here as well and in this before tag okay now whenever we want an execution to be happen in a debug mode after putting the debug point click on this debug icon and we want our main runner to be executed so click on this main runner and click on this yes okay so now the execution will happen in this debug mode okay. so let me make some adjustment to the windows so that you can see okay so now our first debug point is set driver so at the moment it is selected the chrome value okay this comes from that constant class now to execute this step we need to press f6 okay and in some of the cases you need to press function f6 so we have done that so now if we go and check the value okay so it has written out Chrome as you can see here. Okay. Now this browser name contains the value Chrome as you can see here. Now again we need to press F6. Okay. So it has entered the case Chrome because it has matched with the Chrome. Then the web driver value is null. So that is why it has entered inside if loop and So as you can see here in console window, the browser execution has started. Press F6 till the time it launches the browser. Okay. Now to jump further, as you can see in the console window, I'm pressing F6 and the instance of the Chrome driver has been initiated. Now to maximize the window, go back to the Eclipse. And again, we need to press F6. So let me minimize this. Now we are at this step. So press F6. So yes, the browser has been maximized. Now it will break and return the value for this web driver. So the re returned value, as you can see in the window, is Chrome driver now again it has come to this set driver okay now as you can see this before method okay is been at the last step so now whenever we want to switch after this particular step to the next class so what we need to do we need to press f8 so i'm pressing f8 
so it has jumped to the next method that is nothing but web driver quit so if i open the chrome browser so as you can see the execution has happened because we haven't put the debug point for the step definition classes okay so the next debug point is a driver quit so now we are at this test execution is done and now if i go and click on the f6 to execute the step so the step has been executed okay the browser is been closed you won't be able to see that now after this again i need to press a fed because this is the last step we had press it again for the second execution now it has come back to this before tag now let me press f6 okay now we will go and check what is the value stored inside this okay. so it has a chrome value that is coming from this constant class now browser name okay it is still selecting chrome okay now let me press f6 now so as you can see the execution it has matched the chrome value it has come to this case but this step will only be executed if this web driver value matches with a null so in the previous case it was null now in this case it it still has this chrome driver instance so the driver instance has not closed so what we can do guys here we want the driver web driver instance to be set to null each and every time whenever it enters this particular method okay okay so we'll do this and now let me clear this console and you need to click on this button to go back to this normal layout now again we will try to execute this in a debug mode okay if we say no so you will see the debug mode in this normal window now we need to click on f6 to execute the step no now if we go back and check the instance in this set driver so that is nothing but chrome so now hover over this web driver so you can say the null value is matched yes so it has entered the loop press f6 f6 now if you if you want to jump to the next debug point or for the next method execution press f8 okay so the execution will start from that particular window so as you can see the browser is launched now if we go back to the debug window and press f6 now let's return out this web driver which is previously it has selected as a chrome driver so in the meanwhile you can see this browser launch okay so whenever you come to this last point you need to press f8 so i have press f8 so if we go back to this window so you can see the execution has finished now come back to this debug mode now click on this f6 so yes now this was that was the last step now quickly click on f8 the browser is closed now again it will come back to set driver so it will have this chrome selected press f6 okay so the value is chrome and it will go to that particular case it has jumped to the case now if we go and see this web driver so yes now it is null so let's execute this by pressing f6 
till all the way it launches the browser yes so it has launched the browser for the second time as you can see the browser is maximized press f6 it has returned the web driver chrome driver f6 now press f8 so it will finish the execution because it has probably will jump to that login step definition class okay so eclipse is getting highlighted so now let me quickly F6. Yes, so the browser is closed. Yes, F8. So here you can see the execution for this tag MMT hidden and the second user for the TA valid login. So this is how you need to execute multiple test cases. Now, for example, so guys you can tag single scenario with a multiple tags as well so here i'm assigning a tag smoke quickly save now if i go to main runner and so still the execution will be the same as we have seen in the previous step in the debug mode so in this case we are not going for debug mode we are executing in a normal flow so this time it will enter the LN, the browser will be closed the new instance will be created in this valid login scenario will be performed the browser instance will be closed yes so this is how you need to perform the multiple test case execution the only change which we have done as per the previous code which we have written is we have inserted this web driver null so that whenever it comes inside this particular method so we want our web driver instance to null in each and every time so that it can further execute the browser launch code okay so in the next video we will look into log4j thanks for watching the video